We're here at the Semicon India Future Design event at IIT Delhi. This is the third roadshow in a part of events by the Ministry of Electronics and IIT to get startups involved in the various chip schemes uh, that the government is promoting. We also spoke to Minister of State for Electronics and IT, Rajiv Chandrasekhar. Listen in. In general, in semiconductor design and innovation and electronic design and innovation is a fairly complex area. It is a very... Uh, uh, requires a high degree of skills, high degree of capabilities and uh, our efforts, this is the third roadshow today for future design. Uh, we are targeting electronics uh, graduates, uh, electronics students and encouraging them to look at this option of creating a startup and we are certainly seeing a lot of tractions. A year and a half ago there were maybe two startups in semiconductors in India and today we clearly have almost 30 startups and as you saw today even private capital uh, including venture capital firms are now increasingly recognizing the potential, recognizing the, the, the futuristic value of some of the startups in the DIR5, the risk 5 space. Leading name in AI like Jim Keller, who is a legend in the AI and AI compute space, decides to come to Bangalore and set up two startups to deal with both the cloud uh, edge compute uh, devices and in AI compute. You can see that the trend is increasingly because the talent is here, the opportunities are here and there is an enabling environment of government policies that foreign companies and foreign uh, based uh, semiconductor professionals also see, prefer India as their base of innovation. And certainly that is the way, way of the future. Increasingly, India is becoming a global center for innovation in, in, a, in a spectrum of areas uh, that was IT, ITS in the past, internet and consumer tech in the near recent past and going forward in deep tech, AI, quantum and semiconductors and electronics. We today to showcase almost 30 design startups and we are going to uh, launch the India Semiconductor Research Center. So India's place in the future of semiconductor innovation, India's place in the future of electronics innovation and manufacture is certainly now something that is on the move. And as somebody said today in the program, it's about getting a ticket and getting on this train. And uh, with yesterday's Cisco announcement of manufacturing, Tim Cook's visit and the expansion of Apple and Samsung's manufacturing, it is clear that India's role in the future of tech, India's role in the future of the global supply chains and value chains and innovation ecosystem uh, in the future of tech is fir firmly established. And what we have is work hard to make that ambition a reality. We also spoke to senior members for the Center of Development of Advanced Computing or CDAC, which has been appointed the nodal agency by the METI. The government has initiated the Digital India RISFI program, which is a flagship program for development of indigenous microprocessors based on an open source ISA. So as part of that, CDAC has developed the Vega series of processors, where we have a set of processors starting from 32 bit to 64 bit. We have from single core to multi-core processor we have built. So we are engaging startups by helping them to build systems where they need a microprocessor as a building block. So that is one way we are supporting startups. Another second way CDAC is supporting the startups again uh, with the support of MIT, our parent ministry is through the DLA scheme, where as you would have seen today in the Future Design Semicon India program, Honor MOS was uh, speaking about the scheme and how CDAC is as, a, in, as an agency, uh, as an arm of ministry, is supporting startups by providing design infrastructure as well as monetary support for evolving 100 startups, successful startups out of this program. So while the country's large conglomerates such as the Tata Group and Vedanta have already kick-started their plans for their own semiconductor facilities, the government is still keen on including the country's young minds and startups onto the chip bandwagon.